harder hitters today with the homie Travis on this one. Uh, 120 gallons a piece, uh, three paid water heaters. But our first step is to shut off the circulating pump. I have this disconnect switch right here. Have a nice uh, drum bus pump there. And off it goes. I wouldn't be surprised if that switch didn't shut it off or something weird like that, but uh, we're going to make sure it's off. Uh, and then, on these ones, uh, we have a disconnect switch on each heater. I think that just interrupts the control voltage for the contact. I'm not sure if that, that makes sense. I don't think they have three phases switched on that. Maybe. Um, we'll look at that. And then we'll start draining. Get all the nasty sediment out of it. And start replacing some of these bad parts. Wrong. It was a three phase switch, so everything on both these is shut off, so we are good to start draining. And uh, we're going to use these drain valves to uh, drain it this time, but I'm, I'm betting money that they're not going to want to seal back up again. So I came up with a solution for that last night already, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. So we'll get draining here. Alright, we got these things draining still. A uh, big 100, 200, you know, 140 gallons, 120 gallons a piece, you know, little 3 8 green valve, 3 8 orifice in there. Anyways, so we're going to be replacing them with these full port valves so we don't have to deal with this next time. Nice little uh, close bit of adapter on the end there, all shiny, ready to go. Um, yeah, so it's just taking some time. Uh, Sorry, this. He's gonna have a crack loose here and drain it as fast as possible. Um, I did get my unit installed up here on the top. Maybe you find that. Nice. Nice. And uh, that should be good. And then, we're gonna put a uh, like, uh, right in there. That'll be looking a lot more, a lot more disassemblable. This whole thing will be able to be taken apart. And then uh, I got my V-tank ready to roll over here. And then just that little half inch isolation block. So unfortunately I have to bring down the whole hot block and stuff. That's going to be here. And this other the sink uh, just on the back side of this wall. So uh, we're waiting. We'll look at our uh, condenser water circulating pumps here. Got a VFD for each drive. We have a uh, Bolimo solenoid valve that's closed when there's no the unit's not heating or cooling, uh, and then the pumps can start to slow down. They uh, look at the pump differential pressure. The one for each pump, I don't really see why, but they're all seen together. But uh, looking at the differential pressure and determining uh, how fast the pumps seem to be running. And, uh, that one's not working right now, but I guarantee you it's, it's running, it's turning very slowly right now. Probably only 20 hertz or something. And a nice little range here. Ah, we'll do a lot more videos here. We have plenty of cool stuff. But, uh, big 40, 480 volts. Two big pumps. Big fancy Backload, that's okay. Hey, but that's tied in before our isolation valve which shuts off this. So, one inch isolation valve right here would be handy. Someday we can shut the building water off. And then we did get our TMP replaced already. Nice little MIP unit on there. Yeehaw. So we'll let it drain and we'll get after this. Alrighty then. Pitcher for the passage now. TMP now. Drain valves. Everything tightened back up. No leakies. Yeah, had a little trouble with that one. No problem. It 
Any time back up. No leakies. Time to go home. Ugh. Nah. Mr. Howard was not proud of his participation in this one, apparently. Unfortunate. Well, there you go.